I want to uh, maybe now take a slight shift um, into the business, but more on the one activity for which Thermo Fisher is quite well known, which is their inorganic expansion. Tell us more about that, again, from a leadership standpoint. So I think, first of all, Thermo Fisher's uh, had a fairly um, active pipeline of M&A, and we've been executing over the years, probably about 100 plus companies that have been acquired over the past decade. So there are a couple of thoughts uh, on, on successful integrations and why we have succeeded, um, Suresh. One is to be very, very clear about the strategic intent of what this business will really bring to us. And in businesses which have been directly uh, additive to our existing portfolio, we've integrated them very rapidly. In businesses which are more adjacent, we have been very thoughtful about the pace of integration. As we have acquired organizations, we have very thoughtfully built those connections and bridges horizontally across the organization so that when we go to our customers, we are able to offer our unique value proposition or, or really offer workflow solutions to our customers. Uh, so at a strategic level, that's been the real uh, mantra for success, which is to do something which will truly be additive and accretive to our customers, which will help our customers become more successful. From an individual perspective, one of the things that I hold myself and our team accountable for when we integrate and acquire new companies is to ensure that we have absolutely an impeccable track record of retaining talent. And I think that's been anything motivating, inspiring, creating a sense of belonging and comfort in a new organization. Uh, those are super important as we look at retaining and, and really providing great opportunities for growth in the long run for the talent that comes on board.